Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. Happy New Year. This one's coming to you on January 3rd, Thursday. So this is one that I have been meaning to do for quite a while and I'm finally getting around to it. So this is what it's all about. Is the um, portfolio widget in Elementor Pro. Uh, specifically the filter bar. Um, as it is now, there is no label on the filter bar. Uh, let me just show you here what I'm talking about, what we're going to do. Like this, right? Um, you can do this and that, but there's nothing to say what to do. I mean, a lot of people will get it, some won't. <laughs> so it's nice to have a label, but uh, there is no option for that in Elementary Pro at the moment. Also, another thing that is not there uh, that we'll address is the hover color on the items in uh, the filter bar. You can set the active color and the rest of the colors the inactive colors, but you, there is nothing for hover. So that's what we're going to do. And it's just the matter of some CSS. So here we are in uh, the back. This is what it looks like now in uh, WordPress 5.0.2, I think it is. And uh, this is a scary Gutenberg, oh dear. Now what are we going to do? We just click edit with Elementor and away we go. <laughs> and so here I've got a portfolio widget all set up. And some uh, posts in there that I made. Um, I've set my categories up already in the uh, post category section. And uh, enable the filter bar, set it to categories. And then for the style, uh, came over here and of course set the uh, the text color right for that blue and the active color for the yellow. And I've set up some uh, typography, uh, put up uh, font size a bit and the weight. But the uh, point is there is nothing here for the hover color, which is kind of nice. So that's basically it. Uh, for the portfolio itself, so uh, the rest is up to CSS. So let's just go and look and see what it looks like on the front. And here we have it on the front end the way it is now. Food, nature, and all. Okay, so back over here, we'll just pop over into my favorite little CSS editor. And this is where I store all my CSS, as opposed to in the customizer additional CSS or in a child theme style sheet. Um, typically on my sites and that, I don't use a lot of custom CSS. Uh, so this is more than fine. It stores it all in the database. It works uh, perfectly for me and thousands of other people. So that's what we're gonna use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to paste in the CSS and then I'll go through what it's actually doing. So let me just pop over here into uh, my other monitor where I've got the CSS all ready to go in Notepad++, copy it, and paste it in here. So the first part is what will give you uh, the actual label. So Oh, I forgot to mention, I gave it in uh, the portfolio widget. Uh, let me just pop over there and show you. <laughs> forgot about that. Uh, if we go over here to the advanced, I gave it a CSS ID of my port. So you need to do this. Otherwise, if you don't, all your portfolios will have the same label, which is probably not what you want. So that being done. So we're going to say before we're using the pseudo element before, and here is the content 
the text that we want. And this is the uh, Unicode icon for the little arrow that you see. And the background color is the blue. Color of the text is white. Gave it some padding on the top to center it, right and left, and uh, some margin to the right. Now you can adjust these all depending on what you'll have in here for your text. So that's all adjustable. And uh, what we're doing here now is uh, for the filter, we want to display it flex. So we want it in a row and we want to justify uh, it to the left, the content. And that is the existing um, filter bar. We want to justify it to the left because otherwise there will be, depending on the width of your uh, label, it'll be there could be a gap there if it's a short label uh, or if it's a long label it might push it over so we'll just justify it to the left so that's what that's doing and then here uh, the list item for hover this is uh, where we get the hover effect okay for the uh, the uh, portfolio items let me go back to show you here so here we can see it's uh, not in there yet, right? Because I haven't activated. <laughs> but watch. Go back here. And then this last bit, this is uh, a media query in here for uh, set it up for 768, which is tablet view. But basically, what that does is it changes uh, the arrow from a right pointing arrow to a down pointing arrow. And it gives them some padding on the bottom because it's a little bit different uh, in uh, that view. So let's go save that CSS. And now if we go to the front and refresh, there we go. And now you can see as I hover over the items, the categories, uh, they have the hover color of that yellow. Right? And... If we uh, narrow that down, you can see now it goes to the down arrow, and there at that point it changes over. So um, that's about all there is to it, and I'll be posting uh, this CSS on the uh, Sniffle Valve site on the on the page uh, that'll have that. And there will be a link to that in the description of the video. So that's how you can add something like this. And maybe it's going to be an option uh, sometime in the future for the Elementor Pro uh, portfolio. Uh, who knows? But in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the uh, Sniffle Valve channel, <laughs> as well as um, the Sniffle Valve site to keep up to date on what's coming next. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later.